What's up everybody? We're going to go over some advanced cars and some seated positions that might be a little bit harder than usual. We're going to start in the collapsed kneeling position. From here, we're going to point the toes back so you feel a good strain in plantar flexion, also knee flexion. From here, we're going to squeeze our fists, chins in line with our sternum and navel. From here, we're going to start with our neck and then work our way down. I like to bring my thumbs in between my ring finger and my middle finger. I feel like I can squeeze my thumbs a little bit better that way. And then I'm going to go ahead and get into my radiation posture so everything is nice and strong and tight. The only thing that isn't irradiated more than 30% is the neck, otherwise it won't move. So everything else is probably about 50 to 80%. I'm just squeezing everything that I can to really focus on the neck circle. I'm going to go down, I'm going to start to my left, and then I'm going to go to my right the next time. All right, here we go. Inhale and radiate. Keep the air low. Keep the diaphragm high. Shallow breathe. Flex down. Rotate. Bend. Extend back. Neck extend. Flexes to the other side, scrape the chin across the collarbone. One more time, scrape it all the way across the other collarbone. Here, dips to the shoulder, look over that shoulder. Look behind yourself here and up towards the ceiling, over the other shoulder. Scrape the chin across the collarbone and reset. Okay, get back into that position. Flex down, rotate, bend, look over the shoulder, look back, look over the other shoulder, bend into the other side, rotate, scrape the collarbone here, chin scrapes to the other collarbone, rotate, bend, look over the shoulder, extend back, squeeze the fist, look over the shoulder, scrape it across. Now you're trying to find your outermost circle in all these positions. From here, we're gonna go ahead and bring the toes into extension. And we're going to go for the thoracic back. Same thing as the neck, flex, rotate, bend, extend, bend, rotate, and flex to the other side. We're gonna keep ourselves really tight this time. We're gonna extend our toes into the ground. Hands on top of the opposite shoulders and press the forearms into each other and into the chest. Wider stance with the knees for balance and posture. Sit up nice and tall to start. Chin's in line with the sternum and navel. Then the upper back is going to round forward without bringing the hips back. We're going to rotate to one side. Bend the shoulder down to the hip. We're going to extend back. We're going to bend to the other hip, rotate down, all the way down. Continue that rotation. Bend into the side. Extend back. Bend into the other side, rotate down, flex forward. And reset. Flex down, rotate the other way, bend into the side, extend back, keep those toes planted, extend, bend to the other side, rotate down, it's going to rotate all the way to the other side, shoulder to hip, extend back, shoulder to hip, rotate, and flex down. Good. So we got our neck, our thoracic back. Now we're going to get our shoulder here. We're going to perform, perform our shoulder in the hands and knees position or quadruped position. We're going to go ahead and reach out like we're about to shake someone's hand. Make sure that this hand is underneath the shoulder. All 10 fingers engaged. The knees are a little bit wider than the hips. From here, shaking the hand forward. Just bringing that thumb toward the sky. We're not going to jet our head and protract our head, we're just going to try to keep our neck neutral, thumbs up, and 
then from here, we're going to turn the bicep toward the ground. Thumb should be facing down. We're going to reach back. Keep internally rotating. Keep internally rotating. Reach all the way back. Reach all the way back to extension. Now the back of the hand is next to the side of the body, all the way to the knee. Half of rep one. From here, we're going to uh, press the back of the hand into the thigh and then go ahead and glide it up the body. From here, we're going to externally rotate, turn the bicep the other way towards the sky, thumb is up. Reach all the way up, forward, and down. Let's try that one more time. Flexion, this time with a fist. Internal rotation all the way back, keep internally rotating, so the back of the hand is next to the knee, reach back, external rotation or unwind or unwrap, all the way to shoulder flexion, forward and down. All right, other side. Flexion, turn, internally rotate, Reach back, keep internally rotating, all the way as high as you can, all the way up and down and forward to the knee. Half of rep one, make sure the back of the hand is pressing into the thigh first, all the way into extension, external or unwind, all the way back forward and down. One more time, flexion with a fist, internal rotation, keep internally rotating all the way, big circle all the way to the knee, press the back of the hand into the knee, into extension, external rotation all the way to flexion, forward and down. Good. Okay, now we're going to get our elbows. We're going to go ahead and go back to the collapsed kneeling position. Go ahead and make a T with the arms. Palms are facing up. From here, we're gonna go ahead and just externally rotate at the shoulders as well. So we're gonna externally rotate at the shoulders and supinate as much as we can at the elbow. From here, even though I don't have a mirror, I'm trying to get my arms in line with my shoulders. And then I'm gonna bend my elbow in the supinated position. I'm gonna really squeeze the biceps and the triceps all the way, keep those elbows out, and then we're going to pronate at the elbow, and then extend the elbow, hold here, and we're going to internally rotate at the shoulders. All the way, this time we're going to go ahead and squeeze the fists, keep internally rotating at the shoulders, and then go ahead and externally rotate at the shoulders. Squeeze the fists, squeeze the biceps and the triceps. Arms should be straight, elbows straight. Go ahead and bend as much as you can. Pronate, extend, bend, supinate, extend, and relax. Okay. Now we're going to get the wrists. We're going to go ahead and get into the combat position. So working on the ankle as well as the wrist, but mainly focusing on the wrist here, passively stretching this tissue, actively working this tissue. So from here, you have uh, your ulnar deviation and radial deviation. So we're gonna go ulnar deviation and radial deviation to start. I'm gonna press my hand into the forearm and press this forearm into the knee, kind of sandwich it. And I'm really going to control that all the way to end range with the fingertips separated and together. So try both and then all the way the other way. Try not to deviate, try not to supinate or uh, pronate the wrist here. Try to keep it uh, neutral. So go ahead and other way. One more time up. And from here, back of the forearm here is on the top of the thigh. 
We're gonna extend the wrist all the way as much as you can. And then we're gonna move the fingers in toward the middle, all the way up toward the sky, and all the way out. Now back down, as far as you can down and in. In and up, up, up and out, all the way out, all the way down. Really extend it as much as you can and relax. All right, let's get the other side. First starting in that combat position from here, ulnar and de radial deviation. Down and up, thumb, do it with the fingers together and with the fingers separated. Try not to supinate or pronate at the wrist. From here, go ahead and supinate the elbow here. Sorry, and then extend the wrist, hold here, all the way in, in, all the way up, up, all the way out, all the way out. Find your sticking point, go into that sticking point, all the way down. Actively looking for more space. All the way out and around and up, up, all the way out, all the way out, all the way out and down. Other way, out, out and up, all the way up, in, in and down. Open that hand up all the way to extension. Out, all the way up, up, all the way in, in. Extend the hand all the way down and relax. All right, so we got our elbows, got our glenohumeral, we got our wrists. We're gonna take our way down to the hip. We're gonna start in the sideline position. From here, we're gonna bring the hands out in front, go into like a fetal position, and then go ahead and bend the knees in a little bit more. We're gonna really squeeze the hands together. From here, we're gonna open up the hip, abduct the hip here, and then we're gonna go ahead and internally rotate at the hip all the way the back of the knee is toward the ground and then we're gonna go forward all the way up toward the elbow open all the way up keep that knee totally bent and dorsiflex the ankle here internally rotate to extension all the way forward to the knee and then let's go the other way so we'll go all the way to extension press this front foot and knee into the ground open it up to external rotation Abduction, flexion here. Other way, all the way to extension. Keep that knee really bent, really hammer that hamstring tight. Open up, all the way up forward, and stack those feet together. Switch side. Squeeze those hands together. Fetal position here. Knees and feet, dorsiflex. Here we go, open up. Internally rotate here all the way to extension, forward, all the way up and out, turn back, all the way to extension, forward, all the way. And let's go the other way. Hip extension, hammer that hamstring tight, all the way open, up, forward, all the way knee to knee, all the way to extension, all the way to abduction and open it forward and down. All right, for the knees, we're gonna go on the back. We're going to pull into the back of our hamstring, find a good end range and then hold here. Place the hands into the ground. From here, we're gonna press this heel into the ground and then we're going to keep this femur here at about 90 to 100 degrees. From here, what we're gonna do is at the knee joint, we're either gonna internally rotate or externally rotate. We don't wanna move our hip or anything else during this position. So I'm going to press my hands into the ground. Go ahead and start externally rotating at the knee. And then we're gonna go into knee extension, internal rotation, knee flexion. External rotation, extension, 
internal rotation and flexion, hold it here, go into extension, external rotation, flexion, in, up, out, and down. Okay, let's go ahead and switch side. Hip flexion to start, dorsiflexion of the foot here, external rotation at the knee, press those hands and heel into the ground. Extension, in, all the way bent and down, out, up, in, down, down and in, in, up, out, and down, in, up, out, and down. Good. So that would be um, your knee there. Now from here, we're going to get our patella. So this is the only one we're actually going to do relaxed. Um, don't have any fancy one to do for the patella. I like to do these just like this. Um, it helps if you have something behind you, then you can really, really relax. Then you're not worrying about any irradiation. So what you're actually able to do is really move that patella from 12 to three to six, nine, all the way back to 12. 360 degree fashion, just assessing for pain or clicking and just noting that pain and clicking. Okay, so doesn't mean you shouldn't train it, it just means that you should be aware of it. And now if it is painful and or you can't move your patella in a certain direction, that's something that you definitely want to get checked. All right, so the other side. It's all right to push down a little bit harder. If it's tender, then obviously take it easy. But as you do this more and more often, you don't mind pressing a little bit harder. Just making sure that's all nice and secure. Just checking for those clicks. All right. For the ankles, what we're going to do is cross the foot across the thigh here in the figure four position. And we're going to kind of get in a nice tight position here. We're going to plant our flex the ankle. And then the ankle is going to go in toward the midline or toward your face. And then all the way up toward the knee and all the way out and down toward the ground. So toe points in front of the shin, toe goes toward the head, all the way up toward the shin, out toward the ground and down. Other way, out, up, in, point the toe all the way down, all the way out, up, in, all the way down. Switch legs, point the toe, in, in and up, up, up and out, out, out and down, down, down and in, in, in and up, up, up and out, out, out and down. Other way, out and around, all the way up, all the way in, in and down, down and in, out, all the way up, up, all the way in, in and down. All right, now for our toes, we're gonna to do that in the squat position. Find a good position that you can squat into. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and start with just bringing the big toe down and small toes off the ground the best that you can. Hold here. And then switch, small toes down, big toes up. All 10 toes up and try to separate the toes. And then piano those toes down, pinky to big toe. All toes up, separate the toes. Now try to bring the toes together. Squeeze the toes together on the ground. And then go ahead and widen the toes off the ground. And then piano them down. Everything up. Just the big toe touches. And then back up. Big toe touch, back up, big toe touch, hold here, small toes up, hold it, five, four, three, two, and stand up. From here, all toes up, piano them down, all toes up, 
just the big toe touches. And now all toes but the big toe up over here. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so that was some advanced cars that you can do in different positions. Now what we're gonna do is do some pals and rails for the hips. So what I'm gonna start with is our 90-90, and then I'm gonna go into a deeper internal rotation stretch. From here, what I'm going to do is first stare straight at the wall in front of me, chest is high, my foot is in line with my knee and my shin and my opposite foot. Both of the feet are dorsiflexed at about 90 degrees. These angles from the hips and knees should all create about a 90 degree effort here looking forward. If you need to regress, you can always bend the knees as much as you need. From here, we're gonna look forward, chest is high, hands are like bike stands, and we're gonna go ahead and sit up nice and tall. We're gonna lean forward, keep the chest high, arch the lower back, extending that lower back the best that you can. Go ahead and bring your hand on that foot and opposite hand in line with the knee and foot. Hold here. Breathe, inhale for five, exhale for 10. After you relax into that position a little bit, we're going to start our PALS effort. Our PALS effort, we're going to press our foot, shin, and knee into the ground. Pretend there's a scale underneath the shin, and you're pressing it all the way to 100% or 100 pounds. Your whole body is going to be irradiating, meaning it's going to be stable and engaged into the ground. Your core is going to be tight, chest is going to be tight, your hands and arms all engaged. But really, we're focusing this effort on that front hip. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and press into the ground slightly, lean forward back to where we were. Start pressing down 10 to 20%, hold here. 20 to 30%. Whole body's engaged all the way to 40%. 50%. Hold here. 60%, all the way to 65, climb it to 70, all the way to 80, all the way to 90. Now let's hit our 100% safest and greatest effort. We're gonna hold for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna try to pull that foot off the ground pull it off the ground, keep your body in the same position as it was. If you wanna lean back and try to get that foot off the ground, you can, or you can lean forward and do the same things. Hold here, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and slowly bring it down. Go back into your passive position, get back lined up. Maybe lean a little bit more forward. Big inhale and exhale, keep breathing. And then we'll do one more mini pals and rails here. Let's go ahead and start 10, 20, 30%, get a little bit deeper, all the way to 40, 50, 60, 70 to 80, 80 to 100% for five, four, three, two, try to lift off the ground, hold it, all the way up, five, four, three, two, and slowly bring it down. Go a little bit deeper, little pals, 
and the little rails and then just relax. From here, what we're gonna do is you can take some time and relax. You can um, go through some transitioning or you can go ahead right to the other side. Um, what I'm gonna do is show you one more stretch here. So you can pause it, rewind, get the other side and then get this side. From here, what we're gonna do is go into our half 90 position. Our foot is straight in line with our hip. Our back foot is dorsiflex and our knee is about 90 degrees here out from the femur. From here, what we're gonna do is just make sure that we feel comfortable here. If you need blocks, go ahead and use blocks. Use the wall if you have a wall. From here, you're gonna look forward just like we were before. Lean forward. Bend the knee a little bit if you feel pain behind the knee. If you feel pain behind the knee, then you wanna bend this knee certainly. Or you wanna regress by going like this. Okay? So we're gonna go and st stay here. Breathe and hold. Lean into that stretch, breathe and hold. Inhale five, exhale 10. Here, we're going to start pressing our heel into the ground. Everything, this whole front leg, we're going to start pressing it into the ground from 10 to 100%. After we hit 100%, our rails effort, we're going to try to pull the heel off the ground. It might not move and go off the ground, but that's what we're going to try to do anyway. If you want to lean back and let it go off the ground, it would be the same thing as leaning forward and not letting it go off the ground. So, whatever you prefer. So, from here, we're going to start breathing. Relax a little bit before we go into it. Let's go ahead and start at 10%. Don't overdo it. 10% to 20. 20 to 30. 30 to 40. 40 to 50. 50 to 60. Rebend a little bit. Feel a little bit more drive. 60 to 70 to 80. 80 to 100% hold, 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and I'll try to lift it off the ground, hold it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and slowly bring it down. If you're like me, you almost had a cramp in the quad, also in my TFL, and then my opposite hip flexor was starting to feel it, and I could feel it in my core when I was really pressing down. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift off and hover to 90-90, and then we're going to get rear internal rotation. So here we go. Inhale, radiate, lift off. We're gonna go ahead and twist back. So that shoulder is going toward that heel. Again, you can use your hands behind the body here. You can even use a wall for extra support or just hold right here. So progression, you can go ahead and bring those hands out in front. It may even be a regression for you, okay? So it just depends on how your hips feel. Making sure that this knee isn't off the ground here, that we are stable. We're just turning that shoulder back. Feeling a stretch in internal rotation of the hip here, maybe the inside of the knee slightly. If there's any pain, you wanna discontinue this. From here, what we're gonna do is hold passively, inhale five, exhale 10. And then we're gonna begin by radiating and pressing this whole leg into the ground 
trying to get out of this position. And then we're going to try to go deeper into this position by going into internal rotation. So that would be our rails. Pals push down, rails lift off. Here we go. zero, 10%, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, create a radiation by squeezing these fists together, 50 to 60, keep this knee and foot down, we're really using this effort to press into the ground, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, reach back, 80 to 100%, 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and try to lift that foot off the ground. If you need to lean forward, that's fine. Hold here, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and slowly bring it down. Here we're just going to turn forward, lean forward, and then we're going to lean back a little bit. Lean forward, lean back, twist, and then from here we're going to go ahead and open up into our bear position. Hold here a little bit. Okay, now if you're with me and you've done all three of these, you're going to want to go ahead and maybe get the other side. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just open it up on the other side and go into a spinal series. So from here, what I'm going to do is feet are extended or toes are extended into the ground. Knees are behind the hands. I'm going to tuck my chin into my chest, really round my upper back gluing those extended toes into the ground, pressing the knees into the ground, rounding the upper back, chin to chest. I'm gonna start at the sacrum and work my way to my lumbar, to my thoracic, all the way to my cervical. <clears throat> I'm gonna segment the spine from flexion to extension, starting at the lowest part of the back that I'm able to. Noticing that if I skip segmented vertebrae that I lack control in that space. Starting low as I can and not moving my head and neck, keeping my upper back totally rounded until I get to that point. Feeling a swirl of air going down, lifting that back down, mid back, Chest will move forward, emphasize that extension in the thoracic, all the way to extended cervical. You should really feel those articulations and the muscles surrounding those articulations. Some might even be cramping. From here, in our extended spinal position, we're going to go from cervical to sacral, starting with the head and neck. Flexion of the neck, cervical spine begins to flex to the upper thoracic, shoulder blade area, mid-back thoracic, working our way all the way to the lumbar, to the sacrum, beginning to posterior pelvically tilt the hips in toward the midline, tucking the chin, really rounding the back here. Now from here, I'm going to start at the head and my, work my way to the tail. Tail to neck, 
tail back to the neck. I'm going to go for my most controlled tail to neck. 